A lot of times when uh, uh, you take in dietary nutrients, when the body absorbs it, you have it in very small amounts that uh, it, it's, the potency is not there, it's not like a drug. And the reason why nutrition science is not as well regarded, so it's not as the cool, one of those cool sciences, more almost like a, a fringe science. Uh, the reason is because uh, when you take in food, you know, the, the ingredients that you have is in a very small dose couldn't have any potency at all, right? But what we have found in our research is that even those low potency dietary nutrients actually have big results in terms of affecting gene expression. And we call that the diet gene paradox. And one of the reasons why small, uh, low potency dietary nutrients like lunacin, their effect is not on individual pathways or individual genes, but actually it affects the epigene. And that's the only way you can amplify the effects of low potency dietary nutrients through its effect on the epigenome. Because each epigenome in the cell is different, right? So if it affects one epigenome in one cell, it, was, it will have a different effect than its effect on the other uh, epigenome in another cell type. Uh, but diet and nutrition, they affect multiple pathways. It can affect inflammation, immune response, heart health. How can it do that, right? And so the, the epigenome, the effect of dietary nutrients on the epigenome can explain why those low potency dietary nutrients is important in, um, in health and well-being of uh, everybody.